my name is Richard Yusuf from the Pratis Company based in Kaduna, Nigeria, as she has said. And we have been making sci fi themed short films for the past two years. And it has been a crazy journey. So I'm honored to be speaking at the African Team Summit. Pardon me, this is my first time speaking, but I think it's awesome. So, um, how did this whole thing start? About seven years ago, I and my two brothers just met to our cousins for the first time. And we realized that we had this mutual mindset, this mutual thinking towards films. We love films. We would meet and talk for hours about the films we loved, the ones we hated, the ones we thought were the best ever made. And that went on for a while. And the coincidental story was that we used the same decoder, so we always met talking about the same films. So that went on and we criticized Nigerian films a lot, and that was where the name came from. So we realized that the only way we could see those movies we watched and we loved was to create them. So that was when we took up the mantle to become filmmakers. And from that time, we had nothing to start with. We didn't have a phone, a camera, a laptop, or even a system to be able to carry out some filmmaking stuff. So after some time, my brother was able to get a phone and we started trying to do what we could do with it. And <laughs> at that point, we attempted making films and we don't know that we knew nothing about filmmaking, extremely nothing. It was so sad that we knew nothing about filmmaking. So that time, we were inspired by a comedian called Chris Clown and we started making comedy skits. And we made comedy skits for a while and we watched out some comedy skits and we realized that they weren't too funny for someone to laugh at. And then comedy making all the job. At that point, we were able to get a Samsung Galaxy mini phone, which was a bit better than the previous one. And we started making some VFX shots. There's a, there's a popular application on Android phones that is used to edit videos. It's called Viva Video. So that was what we used. Firstly, and we made some little VFX shots, some silly looking VFX shots, and that went on. And we kept on doing it, and after some time, our dad was able to lend us his phone, his laptop, to help us create in a better way. So that went on, and we continued to learn how to make films, and we got more informed on the process by which people use to make those films. And that went on and we were able to make a short film called Redemption. It's still on our YouTube page up to now and Google we'll Fields. So we made a redemption and it was simple. And we made the second short film, the third short film, and in the year, last year, 2019, generally we were able to release our biggest sci-fi short film. That short film was worked on for about six months and there were lots of all those you had to pass through. There are lots of stuff that would hinder some, someone from making those short films like bad electricity, inadequate equipment to use to better the process of filmmaking. And there are lots of stuff we faced through, through when we were making that project. We had to shoot lots of times and it was really bad. There was a time someone almost broke his head on set. <laughs> someone got punched on set when we were making the film. But it's, we just believed something good would come out of it. And the beginning was released in January 2019. And the recognition we imagined wasn't what we saw. We saw something else. But lucky for us, some months later, one of Africa's biggest filmmakers, Kemi Adetiba, saw our work online. And she reached out to us. And she helped us create the fundraising campaign to help us get equipment to be able to make films better. And we got lots of equipment, say a bundle of equipment. And we, from that time, everything has been a bit smooth for us and better for us. And since then, we never looked back. So as we continue to make these films, we realized that there are lots and lots of unexplored and untapped stories in Africa, like the one of Shanko, Prince, Prince, Princess Nipi, and Quinamna, and all. And those stories are actually stories that could be told effectively through filmmaking. Now, as cousins, we 
even though we are cousins, we still come from different backgrounds, which are family tree. So as cousins, we came from different backgrounds. My cousin was from Nassau State, and I and my brothers were from Oshun State. And we realized that there are lots of stuff that could be neutralized and given up to, to make something creative to filmmaking. To filmmaking. And that went on, and we believed we could actually make things work to what we've learned. And the limitations attached to making all those kind of films are the reasons why filmmakers have been stored there. Like the complexity of set extrusion, the use of CGI to tell stories better, all those stuff weren't in place. So no one could actually attempt to make that kind of project. And it was really bad. But for us at the project company, continue to use this art and we continue to subtly put that African team into the work we do. And that's helped us a lot and it has helped us to build the heritage of our, of our, our continent, I say, our continent. So the art of visual magic is, is it's something that we learn, something that we learn. And we learned it from YouTube, I've learned it from YouTube because there are little or no schools where they could actually be learned online. And that's really sad. But we are the critics who continue to learn this art and we use it to tell our stories effectively in the best way we can. So much respect. This is, I'm once again, Abucha Yusuf. Thank you.